Ev hears my car start up. He's like, all right. Perfect. <laughs> Fun's Crack. about to start. Tell Ken I'm coming after his cars. <laughs> Ken's <pissed. laughs> Nothing makes your girl happy like saying, look, babe, look how unappealing I am to other women. Yeah. What were you looking at here, Ken? I think that picture got edited. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I, 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 Everybody loves the holidays, and if you run an e-commerce business, you know that it is a busy season. Luckily, ShipStation takes care of your fulfillment headaches no matter how big or how small. ShipStation can help you increase your profitability and save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard and help you guys keep costs down with industry-leading carrier discounts while your holiday orders roll in. To set yourself up for holiday season success with ShipStation, you guys. Go to ShipStation.com and use promo code WIDE OPEN today to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com. Dot com promo code wide open are any of you guys looking to build healthier eating habits this fall well green chef is here to help every green chef customer gets a free session with a registered dietitian who can walk you guys through how to make clean eating work for you sign up today and start your free journey towards better health and get dinner on the table during busy weeknights for the whole gang with four person meal kits from green chef they provide everything you guys need to make dinner organized in one easy convenient bag so guys go to greenchef.com 60 wide open and use code 60 wide open to get 60% off plus free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash 60 wide open and use code 60 wide open to get 60% off plus free shipping. Hey, Kenny, you want to come do your favorite activity and podcast? Yes, I am getting some stuff printed out for them and then I'll head up there. All right, sounds good. We're rolling. You guys, welcome back to another Life Wide Open podcast. I uh, I thought we were not going to get graced with the presence of Ken. I really came around on him, you guys. Ken, uh, to as a person? Him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> To liking him. Yeah, it's, really? it's been tough. <laughs> no, good. no, but uh, I, I thought we weren't going to have him today. It's a uh, merch drop week, so he's got a, a bunch of great helpers down there, and he's got to keep them. Well, it's hard because he can't have a robot like, crack the whip on them physically. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He saves that for himself. <laughs> yeah, he gets so much <laughs> personal enjoyment out of doing it. But he's printing out orders. No, but he, no, is- he saves the robot to crack the whip on him. Like oh, he yeah. that oh, that's that's <laughs> I know CJ tonight. understood that. One. I hear it I can't believe we already turned it into us talking about yeah, Ken. Was, yeah, he's back. not here. He's not here. But yeah, you guys, I I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. You're pissed off or what? <laughs> you know, that's a good question because I'm never pissed off. But no, I woke up all frantic. So merch drop last night. You know, it's been it's been a great week working late. But then last night I was like, well, I'll probably just catch up on sleep. You had stuff to do in Fargo, podcast at one. Mm. Guess what time I woke up? One. One. Damn, yeah. That's impressive, Mike. So thank you guys, everyone listening, and especially the people that bought merch, that are blowing up our phone. I know I can turn that off, but it's fun to have it on. The notification's on for when oh, we get ding. a sale. It's cool. Yep. So I didn't, have, I didn't have the sound on, but vibrate on. So it's like Sydney says, I got to turn to do not disturb. Makes sense. Stop. Yeah. Whenever I turn my phone on, do not disturb. That those are the aggressively late sleep-ins. Well, don't, doesn't your alarm still go off? I didn't do that because I was like, I, I told her we get to Makes sleep sense. in today. This will be great. And then I wake up at nine. Okay, an hour, an hour more. One. It's just like <laughs> I, I mean, I know you guys are not surprised, but I'm just like that's almost so, like a whole nother night of. Sleep. I know, yeah, like, straight bro. up, especially for me. Like some, you know, some nights I'm like five hours. Anyway, then Sydney goes, like, are you mad at me? Because I wake up all frantic. Like, oh, you yeah. Know? And you're like, I got to go. And I I'm like, go. nope, I'm mad at myself. The worst type of mad. Yeah. Do you think that you have a, well, it's not sleep apnea. It's not it's sleep not, insomnia. What is it? It's a. No, it's not narcolepsy. narcolepsy. Bro. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be allowed on the road for one. And I don't think I'd be allowed to you do. You can't drive with what's narcolepsy. narcolepsy? What, what, what's like the definition of it? It's a condition where you. Uh, fall asleep very randomly like oh, i guess okay. re- regardless of kind of how yeah, tired like whatever's you are whatever's going on you could like you could be at a concert and you yeah, just like zonk yeah. out no or way here and that's zonk what out. that that's yeah. what that means yeah no 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 you know who actually kind of has that but doesn't have narcolepsy roscoe in danny duncan's videos one of his good buddies he's in the videos all the time yeah, dude's always Whoa. sleeping he was getting arrested <laughs> for just whack what? reasons but yeah he was getting arrested in one of his videos he they like had him in cuffs and he's leaning up against the cop car, and he just decides to take a nap. Close his eyes. Seriously? Yeah. And all then night. they're all laughing. They're like, yeah. 
Look at him. Of course he's Dude, sleeping. That, that is guy, crazy. That's not a good look, but yeah, he did that, and I was yeah. like, wow. Yeah, it's interesting how he's always sleeping. I didn't notice that. That's got to be induced by something. Like, that's not just like, he's a really sleepy dude. You think it's drugs? Well, I'm not going to accuse. I don't know. Never met the guy. Hope to, but never met him. So I don't know what his deal is. Yeah, it's hard to say. But past me waking up on the wrong side of the bed. You, You guys know me. I bounce back, and here we are. What do you think makes the difference between a good and a bad day? Everybody's had them, but like, you have a day where you just wake up on the wrong side, and you're just in a bad mood. Why do you think that happens? Mm. I, I, the biggest part for me is whether you're excited or dreading what's happening. Yeah. Like, and, and it's, I'm talking That's like a true. threshold, like a 50, 50 threshold. If you're 51% happy that the day is going to go good, then you start cranking it up. But if you're 49 or below sad that, that you have something coming up today, that's either going to be a lot of work, take a lot of time, um, or other things like you sleep in, you're late, you start to talk down the whole day. That's true. But that just snowballs. You can't, you can't exactly. Do that. No, it totally it's snowballs. The same, it's the same way with like going into it thinking it's going to be great. Like that snowballs too. Like exactly. it's just all the, the way you approach it, I think. Yeah. You just have to go through life expecting nothing and just stay even. <laughs> don't get excited. <laughs> don't get sad. That is honestly a good way to do it. It too. really is. I mean, you're not yeah. disappointed or excited you know, yeah can you imagine yeah, just being every day is the same if you don't know, you know like what you're gonna get if you like don't nice know about that what personality to have or what way to live your life go with the flow is the most solid option i mean true it's probably the easiest maybe it's the easiest. <laughs> maybe it's yeah, the easiest. Around. Around. yeah, yeah. that's true yeah. look at ken he's had a pretty hard life has he <laughs> well being our friends <laughs> being a go with the flow guy <laughs> could be a little stressful he but went along with this yeah could have had the day off. He did go along with this. He went along with it, and now yeah, he's here. This is man. actually the mo- <laughs> an extreme version of go with the flow. Like no, this is like I'm a- not sure if Ken wants to be a YouTuber. <laughs> bro. It's like a go. He's just going. With he, the flow. he was going with the flow, and now he's here. It's like well, he's he hopped on the train, and and he is so far from home. There's no going back. He's like look, at, it's like an open open wall on the train. You could jump. You could jump off, but it would be a pretty abrupt landing. And he's just sitting there, just like. I wonder if this train's going to slow down. I'm, I'm too train. far from home to go back. And every day the train starts moving a little bit faster, so it's harder to jump off. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, goddamn, he was born, born for it. I think going with the flow just matters in the situation that you're in and the group of people you're around. Mm-hmm. Like in situations that I'm in with you guys, though, so like somebody has to make a decision and everyone else is usually happier that somebody made a decision and then sure. we just rally behind it and we just go with it. Yeah. And like I do that even with with Greta when we're like trying to decide something like she's so like wishy washy on like where to go and eat or or what movie to watch or something like that. And I'll just like make a decision. And usually I know immediately whether she wants to do it or not. But I, I think there's something to be said about making decisions like fast and being able to like stick with them. Mm hmm. I feel like so many people just waste their time just like not knowing what to do or like, is this the right thing? And I think everyone does it and it's hard not to, but like there's something to be said about just like, it really probably doesn't matter that much as long as you just, yeah, just make the call and just go with it. I keep moving. Yeah. Or then when you get really wise, that's when you make the call for fast decisions or well thought out decisions, you know, when to make those. You know, like there's certain things we're making a fast decision. We look back and go, oh my gosh, I'm glad we just decided to do this and run with it. We're better off. Mm-hmm. And then other times where we're like, why do we not put any thought into <laughs> why that? Why did yeah. we think about that? Well, there's some, yeah, no, I guess making like a quick decision, but like usually. Or just making one at all. But I think there is something to be said about like actually thinking things through and the older that I guess I get, like the more I think about things. And I guess that takes a little bit more time, but I try and not put it between like two different options of like thinking about one thing and then like thinking that thought process out more in depth. Oh Yeah, almost taking the one idea that I guess is in your gut and then further engineering that idea in your head. But I mean, for a good example, real quick, you guys were working on the the tall pit bike Uh video that's doing very well. Appreciate it, guys. Really well. The, so the, uh, the set tandem a, pit uh, bike. Record for us. We're working with uh, Big Wrench's son, Gavin. <laughs> he, uh, well, we'll call him Little Wrench. But uh, you, you and Evan were down there, like helping him out a lot. You know, like just bouncing ideas off each other. And I think that is partially why it went so well. Hundred percent. 
we rarely end videos where something doesn't break, especially when we build it ourselves, I guess, especially when it's a Facebook marketplace build too, but yeah, you put so much uh, brain power into it and it worked out Both well. Both of them made it to the end of the video. That's pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. It was, it was amazing. Yeah. yeah, I'm very surprised on that, honestly. Well, I think we've just gotten in so many situations when we made that rail, like that 100 foot rail for the razor to like grind on. It's a good example of. It's a, mm. it's a crazy idea, but it was just like, little thought went into it and i was kind of like you know helping big ranch make the decisions on like how big to go how wide to go and like all these things and i just wasn't thinking things through straight and then you end up getting your shit rocked because of it and even felt extremely guilty because of that but like i could tell you know there's so many i guess projects and and just like things that we do day to day but we learn from it Mm -hmm. yeah you learn from it but like if you don't actually think out the the worst or you know the the practicality of it, then things can go extremely wrong. Yeah, I was just gonna say, there's a balance, man. You can't rush things, and then you can't go too slow, though. Yeah, like a lot of people go too fast and they make mistakes, and a lot of people go too slow and they don't end up doing anything. Then, yeah, you know what I'm That's saying. A good point. And then to like make it even that more one was in depth. Too fast. That one we did too fast. Yeah, right. like if we wouldn't have had a posting schedule, we would have been like, you know. The dirt doesn't look right here. Let's fix that so that way there's not the little hump on it. Make Let's the tabs fix the wider. tabs. Like, but with our weekly posting schedule, oftentimes we will put other things aside that should be considered to make it happen, which I don't know if that's really a, the right move. Yeah. I don't think it is the right well, move. And, you know, sometimes it jeopardizes. Well, the only thing it truly jeopardizes is safety other than that it's just like us losing sleep i think safety and quality of video though well yeah but obviously like you could have two weeks to work on a video that maybe takes a week and a half and it'll only be 10 percent better Mm -hmm. that's the thing there's if you did it in one week it might be 10 percent worse but then you move on i don't know you know it's weird you know what i'm saying there's something about it though that keeps us like accountable Mm -hmm. and i think like when your back is up against the wall or you're putting a corner you have to do it that's when you get the most creative and that's when, yeah. you know, your brain power starts firing because you don't have an option. And I, I honestly do think that we would probably, if we were like, ah, oh, well, we don't have to do it. We would just be like, Chilling, yeah, we'll come up with it. And then usually you just don't. Yeah. <laughs> if you so don't like there is something deadline, to be said man. about that. But, but that's yeah, where we're like such a slave to the, to the schedule, yeah. which sucks. And that's where it comes down to what I'm talking about, getting more wise, which we are all every single week. Then you start to make decisions faster when your back's up against the wall. You may, or I should say, when your back's up against the wall, you make decisions better. Well, you only have yeah. one way to go. You have to go that way. You yeah. can't go back that way. But so. it's less of a panicked answer yeah. now than it ever was. That is, that is a weird saying, though, that we're a slave to the schedule and we set the schedule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, right. We're literally a slave to ourselves. I sometimes think that I'm like, what? what? You well, know, like, mm-hmm. or we set the schedule that now. Um, is a, a like movement, let's life, say, you know, you know it's a, like, but it, but the schedules now is way deeper than us. Because like Dude, people I, be like, oh, aren't you your own boss? Like, why don't you just you can do your like? What do you mean you can't go do this? This day? I'm like, I can't. I gotta go. Yeah. Do this. My uh, like line about that has always been that when you're your own boss or you have your own company, you get to set the hours. But if you don't work enough, you won't have a job to come home to or to go to work to. You know, like you're, yeah. it'll it'll fail around you. Yeah, I think 100%. the. I think, like, the thing about it, though, is, like, I think about so many people that, like, sit there and wait at 7 o'clock on Thursday yeah, for, like, the post. And that also plays a factor in it, too. But, like, I really don't know if it matters at this point. Like, I think people are going to watch no matter what. And, like, that's the beauty of, I think, like, the following that we've built. But still, I feel like some sense of, like, not wanting to, to let those people down that are waiting yeah that's what i feel too i feel bad they're like yeah our whole family watches uh every thursday and i just like envision them like when it's late i'm like fucking they're all sitting on the couch i'm like jeez (laughs) (laughs) there's that (laughs) you know the andersons are sitting there and they're just like when when's cj gonna get this done man they're probably not saying cj (laughs) but when when are the boys (laughs) gonna get their video up yeah exactly which we yeah, we get a lot of people reaching out that say that, which is very flattering and I think so that's cool. sweet. But also, yeah, I mean, on a real note, it is a partial give and take with the caliber of our videos now. So again, like last week's video, it was banger or both. I mean, so many last banger videos. Been, yeah, yeah, that uh, if they go out an hour late or an hour or two late, it doesn't matter because they're so banger. 
But I think if we were just doing vlogs, we'd be able to stay on a schedule and then people could watch them on Thursday Do people at seven. still do vlogs? Like, do people still make vlogs? So. <laughs> Unless you're, like, really famous. I feel like that's the only people that can get away with, yeah, like, like, like I would consider, me. uh, like, oh, like Alex wow. Carl? Yeah. Oh, hey, plenty. She's of, crushing it. Plenty, yeah. of, plenty of female <laughs> vloggers out here. Like, plenty. Well, if you're hot, you can do whatever you but, want. But, uh, like, the Deegans do vlogs and, and that's a great example do and they? I think they should. Yeah, yeah, they, you know, they have a, a weekly vlog or I don't know how often they post. But they're, like, the but, damn Kardashians of the motor So, world. you can't shit on, on vlogging, but I'm, way. I'm, like, pumped that we have moved on from that and now it's just, like, it's just entertaining. Like mm. we are living to entertain and it's been so fun making that. Yeah. Dude, I I say this as humbly as possible, but I think we're the most underrated <laughs> like YouTube creators. Like for the consistency and the ideas and the caliber, like week after week after week for like yeah, I would so say long. we've been doing this well for like four years. Like that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. It is. Fun. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah, we don't have much to say because it's like I agree, but also we are. I mean, dude, the subs are going up fast. It's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful thing. I, I hope. Think, sorry, what no, you saying? I just think we got that that Midwest Northerner work ethic. Yeah, you know, like we just start. This is just what you do. You yeah. just work. You know. Yep. And I hope one day the outcome of like the thought process like that. It's like when you see a professional athlete like. All of a sudden, get really good one season. They spent the last three years yeah. working really hard to be good at some point. And I hope that the outcome of that is then one day we are it's recognized really beyond our comprehension. The only way to do it. It's unfortunately part of it. You know, I mean, a motocross racer is a great example. Like those guys are, you know, the people who are winning are sacrificing like 90% of their lives. Yeah, to be good. You guys excited for the Logan Paul? Yes. Yeah, well, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm so, so pumped. Yes, the, uh, yes the people I will know, I guess, the result already if they because it this yes. will come out okay. Tuesday, so, but Saturday tomorrow we're watching that. Mm -hmm. who, who do you guys got? Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis. I guess I, I guess, Logan, Logan, dude, I, guess I got Logan. Yeah. You think he's gonna win, or do you want him to win? All I want is that it not to be a. Uh, I want both people to have fun. <laughs> dude, I'm I'm honestly like I'm not. I won't care who wins. Both results will be entertaining. I think if Dylan Dennis wins, it'll be even more entertaining. But I don't really want to pray or wish. I don't wish anything negative on Logan. Yep. But obviously, either way, someone's going to get the, the shit end of the stick on this deal. Mm -hmm. If Dylan wins, not only does he beat him, but he talked so much personal shit on like Logan and his fiance, And it's very obvious that Logan... He doesn't take shit talk well, clearly. Well, or at least Dylan really struck a chord that yeah that really ticked him off because you can just tell he's like angry, and actually like, flustered. He's about actually it. flustered about yep. it. You know, he's not just like it's not just a standard shit talk fighting yep. type of stuff. He's like so flustered about it. We'll see. You guys see what happened in the press conference yesterday? Yeah, I did. Throwing no. a microphone, dude. Dylan Dan. So Logan Paul like stands up, throws like a. Like a prime, he hucked that bottle really hard. But I mean, overhand, he under, or no, underhand, he like underhand like throws quick, it at him, hit him in the chest. Like and he then clearly wasn't aiming pitch. for his. He wasn't <laughs> aiming for his head. Okay. And then Dylan Dennis grabs his mic, flips it around, and like chucks it at him. Bounced it off his head, I think. No way. I couldn't really see it. No, bounced oh. it off his head. He cut like he had to get stitches. Oh, yeah. Like cut Dude, him open. Could we see? Honestly, honestly. Mm. Like what the fuck's Logan doing? He started that. He threw the bottle at You're him. Right. And to be fair. It's a savage move, and it's the boxing game. It's a savage fucking game. So, True. like, honestly, he just got out savage. Like, he threw a water bottle at him and hit him in the chest, and then he got fucking whacked <laughs> with a microphone, a heavy microphone in the face. There's dude. such a delicate balance <laughs> like, of being a lunatic and being entertaining. I think one thing's for sure is Dylan Dennis is an idiot. So, I mean, <laughs> what do you expect an idiot to do? That's an idiot thing, to, you know? Yep. And, like, obviously, it's going to help now Dylan probably in the fight. Because he's gonna have a, a cut that's gonna probably be easy to tear. True. You know, think about that. Because if he and then it opens up, he could be bleeding, bleeding his eye. eye. He now can't see out that eye. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, man. It could be that could have been a really pivotal mm -hmm. moment in uh, the outcome of this fight. Interesting. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. If he does have like stitches or, or whatever, it's still gonna like you get punched right there. That's gonna hurt. I think the other Open thing is wound. like he. He like whacked him with the mic and then like 
Logan didn't even like really respond. You know, he like just turned away and like. And then a security like, guard security threw a, guards threw a bottle and it hit him in the, hit head. Him in the head again. Yeah, he got like <laughs> a Logan in the head. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my god! Like one of Dylan's security. So he not only get whacked with the mic, and then he's like slightly covered, and there's a small pocket. Hits him back in the head with a water bottle. Oh man! And then like he just turns around and like has his face down and like runs off. It was interesting because like if you're a fighter and you're like going to fight. I don't know. It just showed like the yeah, that's the, interesting. Like, I don't know, like the lion or whatever, the dog in you. You know, like I feel like most dogs are like you know high. They would have just fucking back. seen red and went after him, or or you know, like yep. they would have tried. But he just like turned away and like ran off the stage. Yeah, so that, that makes me wonder, like, is he? He might even be hurt worse than I'm sure it <laughs> fucking hurt. Yeah, you're getting whacked <laughs> with a mic in the head. Yeah, these are heavy. Hopefully, I'd, he's not like concussed or anything from it because that'd be even worse probably mm -hmm. than realistically having the cut because then it's like it'll be even easier to knock him out or yeah. put him down but i wonder if that's a testament to his overall or his feelings about this fight i would say he is a big dog in any fight whether it, and that's proven over his many many years of being a personality of he's like an alpha yeah an sure. alpha exactly but i wonder if he feels like he's beat like you can have two alpha wolves but one alpha wolf gets overpowered and then he backs away it's yeah, like that's, nature. that's a good point mm -hmm. you know I say yeah, that nature. i feel like dylan's an alpha over logan Everybody loves the holidays, and if you run an e-commerce business, you know that it is a busy season. Luckily, ShipStation takes care of your fulfillment headaches no matter how big or how small. ShipStation can help you increase your profitability and save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard and help you guys keep costs down with industry-leading carrier discounts while your holiday orders roll in. Now is the time to switch to ShipStation if you've been on the fence because ShipStation's hooking you guys up with a free 60-day trial and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. We've been with ShipStation for like five or six years. Honestly, it is a staple of our fulfillment process. It makes it so easy to manage all our orders and I can't imagine our fulfillment process without it. We seriously could not do it. ShipStation saves us up to 84% on shipping labels so we can pass those savings along to you guys. And if you have your own business or want to start one, I seriously cannot recommend recommend ShipStation enough. So set yourself up for holiday season success with ShipStation, you guys. Go to ShipStation.com and use promo code wide open today to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code wide open. You guys have heard me talk before about how great Shopify is. It's easy to design. You don't need to learn how to code and they've got award-winning help and thousands of integrated apps to help you guys sell better. But if that isn't enough for you to make the switch, it gets even better. Our entire lives are on our phone, so why shouldn't running your business be? With Shopify's app you guys can manage orders shipping and payments from anywhere this week we have a merch shop going on at cboystv.com so checking shopify is honestly a part of my hourly routine i can check in and see if orders are coming through what products are sold out or help fix any orders if something comes wrong we couldn't run our online business without shopify and especially the mobile app shopify powers 10 percent of all e-commerce in the united states it's for small businesses it's for big businesses it's for you guys businesses that grow grow with shopify and if you guys want marketing made simple shopify removes the guesswork with built-in tools that help you create execute and analyze your online marketing campaigns so guys sign up for a one dollar per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open which is all lowercase go to shopify.com slash wide open now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com promo code wide open but if Logan's you won the fight more. or the pre-fight <laughs> yeah you definitely Probably won the pre-fight. That's what I'm saying with the pre-fight. It is funny that it came down to. So if you and myself are throwing snowballs at each other, and let's say I like lob three at you and then hit you one in the chest, and then you throw one and smoke me in the middle of the forehead, you won that snowball fight. And that was fight. the last and snowball it, thrown. You turned <laughs> away. Like, yeah, yeah, especially yeah, if it was that. Win. So then just to dumb it down to just them throwing things at each other, it essentially Dylan did win with a mic to the head. I think Logan's going to be a better boxer, personally, because mm -hmm. he's just been boxing Around seriously it. for, you know, taking it seriously for a long time, three years, and Dylan just started. Is he MMA? Sorry yeah, he's MMA, appearance. but he's he's specialized in uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, so More like that, that's like, you know, takedowns and stuff that is very uh, applicable in MMA, but you're not going to use any of that in, in boxing. It has nothing to do with it. All right, All so right. we'll watch this here, and... Uh, I guess you guys already know who won, but. Like, he started that. Oh! Boom. 
Oh, it was close range. Oh. Oh. A toss. That was just. I don't know. Yeah, he and he hit head. him. He it's it's known that he hit him. Yeah, there's like another angle. Oh my gosh, dude! You, yeah, you gotta watch him, the like, higher up angle. You can kind of see him like bleeding as he walks away. Really, dude? I was not expecting that. I was expecting the yeah, like when you're farther third, away. When you're 25 feet away at a table and like you're throwing like dude, distance. One thing's for sure is Dylan Dennis knows how to sell a fight. Like he's doing a great oh, job. Oh yeah, selling it's cheap, the fight. dude. Oh, if it's just his cheek, it's probably not too bad. You'd have to be more worried about. Oh, oh yeah, he got. Yes, yeah, sw- oh, he dude, swiped his. And then he got that dude. guy smiling. The security. <laughs> well, the security guard to give a little bit of defense. The security guard's pushing his head down and trying to get him yeah. away. It's what happens if you get in a fight at the press conference? So now is that like? Because obviously, you punch someone in a boxing match. It's a sport, but you are at the press conference like that, and you punch someone in the face. Is that now assault? Ah, man. Well, or, I or do you have to? Ch- I think to- it probably depends who it is. Who, who's the guy who got punched? Like yeah. you maybe just chalk it up to the game. Like this is what I signed up for. I guess yeah, that's what I was wondering. Char- like I, I was know. just Sorry, wondering that too. Did, it's only did, technically assault if he presses charges, and if you shit, press though. charges on that, I think it'd be lame. Remember when Conor McGregor threw yeah, that the was dolly crazy. into the into the yeah. van or into that the was bus? My introduction into fighting, like that was kind of right happening yeah. as I was getting into it. That was crazy. Dude, anyway. I mean, one of the first fights I remember is what, at, like watching at, at uh, Dave's, Jake's dad's really into boxing fights. We used to always watch the the boxing or, or UFC fights there at his house. And I just remember sitting on the couch watching uh, Khabib beat McGregor and then jump out of the ring and then punch <laughs> Dylan <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> Oh, that Dude, was yeah. I mean, this guy's always that. pissing, and he pisses everyone off. So, yeah, like, Khabib very, wow, hopped out of the octagon and punched Dylan Dennis in the crowd. He like tried to. I remember him punching stomp someone. Stomp him basically. He like he jumped and like crouched and like almost looked like he was gonna try and like double foot stomp him out of the air. <laughs> Dude, that was one of the most electric fights, that honestly, was crazy. because it's like the whole build up to it was fantastic. Obviously, Connor loses and gets choked out. But then the aftermath and, like, all that came from it, like, that shit is truly an entertainment spectacle. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, I think, was better than anything. That's one of the best fights. No, I don't think anything is compared to that. I know. I know. The atmosphere of that room, too. And, Bro, yeah, I was going like, to say, not I, only was it. I've been smiling the whole time dude, just thinking about it, when dude. that When he jumped out of the ring, I remember all of us just getting, oh, my God, what yeah. is going on? What was more not so is, like, Right after that all died down, like they're p- taking people out, we were in this room full of, there was a lot of people, and there was this couple there, <laughs> and they were fighting, like not physically, but they were in like this verbal argument, and it was like yelling, so there was so much going it on, like, it was like the this, TV to the obviously we're watching fighting, which is already like, you're you're pretty amped up, but then that happens after the fight, so you're really amped up, and then a fight breaks out, like a, a verbal altercation, <laughs> Right and, in front of you. And we were, like, kind of young still where we weren't, like, super uh, – not that we are now, but we're not well-versed in relationships or, like, you know, how things go. How or, to read the or room. How or how to read like, the room. On, yeah. Or even, even been in many situations similar to that where we know how to handle it. So we just sat there just, like, trying to look the other way. We were and trying like, to become it invisible. It was so awkward but yeah. so funny when we look back. Not that, oh, man. you know – Bad time to get in a little verbal argument yeah. with you. When you got <laughs> six of us around here. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot more people than that, too. Forever been a meme. Six Two. years later, they got a freaking podcast, and they're talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everybody's worst nightmare. Yeah, we're not dropping names. No. It's all good. But anyway, good uh, speaking of beefs, get a text from a random number that says, ready for more golf balls, question mark? We are. Yeah, and yeah, we need you know what's funny is that we actually range. have... Yeah. We have hit all of our golf balls into the pond yeah, or onto the side, track. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I mean. Okay. So or we, you could just go out there, pick them up, put them in a bucket for us, leave them by the door. We'll. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice. It'd, it'd be, be way easier. Hold on. What? Yeah. So then the next text, tell Ken I'm coming after his cars. Ooh. And I see, just respond. And again. <laughs> Ken's <pissed. laughs> Ken's like, what did I do? Yeah, actually. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he said that. Again, I don't know if this is actually him, but. I didn't know what to respond considering this could just be a random person that knows about the bit or well, not a bit about the, the dude coming over and then us using the golf balls. I just respond laughing faces. That's it. And Classic. then he, he says, 
reckless golfing or else a l s e can't spell mm. uh and i said i'm actually confused and then he said remember when someone came and dropped <laughs> golf balls all over no, the don't. shop and then i'm like yes <laughs> and he said it was me i'm gonna do it again or you can do another reckless golfing and people, at this God, p- people love the reckless bro, golfing bro at this man. point let's say is this is let's say this is him yes it was a no threat chance. and i'm just laughing in my head i'm like or you can do another reckless golfing so i'm like brother we're doing another reckless golfing. <laughs> like, give it time. Man. Like, if you want to threaten, all I'm, I didn't say this, but I'm like, if you want to threaten us about something, don't make it something that we're already planning on doing. Yeah, so that then that I just said, just "Oh, I get it. You're reckless golfing." I said, "Oh, I get it. You're blackmailing us into doing another reckless golfing, or else you'll spill golf balls over the driveway again." Just laying it out. <laughs> and then this morning he texted me, "You and Evan look like a couple." <laughs> Damn, now he's coming after you personally. Yeah, and I did, didn't respond, but I'm like... What does that even mean? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, and then I was just like, if I had to respond to him, I'd be like, yeah, dude, we're homies. I mean, it could probably come off like that. <laughs> Nothing worse than having to explain your joke. That's what? tough. Yeah, so I just thought that was funny. Like, it, let's say that is him. I'm like, yeah, we kind of want more golf balls, but, like, don't damage any property, bro. Yeah, he, he could just drive by the 72 HD security cameras and leave them in a tote by the door. That'd be nice of him to do. Anything else? That, yeah, that would be great. We'll be captured. We need some more balls, honestly. We, yeah, we do. I was just, just thinking that. It's so, so fun. fun. Yeah. And it's it does blow my mind that we went through all of them. I'm not surprised. Cody posted uh, an Instagram video. What we like to like call a bunch of partner language fuck around edits. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Of yeah. like a bunch of videos and I was like, I feel like an outsider because I wasn't a part of a single one of oh, these videos. Oh, and I felt like an insider watching. <laughs> I was like, dude, wh- when are you guys doing this? I was like, after wh- 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, and that would I'd, make I'd sense. I'd say almost after 2 a.m. sometimes. They're out there f- fucking around. Which Stuff like I, that. Honestly, you got to respect, man. Yeah, no, for sure. It. For sure. Yeah, if, any, like if, good, if, if anything, like a great time. if anything, that's like what's truly keeping us young. But well, yeah, I, I watched that and I was just like, bro. Because it's not during the day hours of everything else we do keeping you <laughs> young. young. It's no. good that at 11 p.m. you decide to do. I shouldn't say if do... anything. I should say among all things, that one is the most. I think that is because that's that's truly coming from the heart. It's pure hearted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you know, there's yeah. truly <laughs> I no love... gain. If anything, just disadvantage. It's <laughs> yeah. only hurting you. I you love know? hearing Evan talk about that. Like Evan truly is, just as anyone, stoked on what we're doing day in and day out during the day. But he's just like, oh, dude, you just can't, you just can't beat those just random times that you just come about and you're riding and you're at the pond, a couple of tees deep. You just can't beat those. Like, <laughs> like all of those nights, he'll literally then say the next day, just can't beat it. I love that he enjoys that and that you guys do that kind of thing, though. Because like Ev's living here, he's staying at the shop. Like, it, it would break my heart if he wasn't like having fun or like yeah. enjoying himself here. So like the fact that you guys are doing that and you kind of just get roped into it, but like <laughs> Cody and Ev, like there's yeah. living. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you're right. It would be a bummer if he was just like, if it was very like platonic or, or even partially. Platonic, I like that Yeah, word. like if we were just, he was there, we're here, we leave. Ev hears my car start up. He's like, all right, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Fun's Crack. about to start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, that <laughs> idiot's gone. Uh, that's there's some truth to that. <laughs> the real fun can begin at that point. Hey Ken, I hate to do this. Could you take off these uh yeah, this Ken, ads? There's lots of Ken, stuff going on. Have you been slightly. looking at watches? Yeah, You're getting a shit ton of watch ads. Man. Yeah, no, I I get emails about them and then I click on it and then that's the only kind of ad I get. My ads have been in Spanish lately. I don't speak a lick of it. Hmm. So or do you, you guys been looking up maybe Spanish? Spanish. Ads. What do you guys? Uh, are you aware of like what Timu is? Uh, I can yeah, I can yeah, come like, up with an idea of like what I think fake, it is. Those are the most annoying ads I get. Is this an ad? Are you jumping? Are you jumping on my <laughs> shtick right no, now? No, this isn't an ad. No, <laughs> right. but I just so PTSD. it's it's like we were talking about the and the the Cummins, and then it offered me like a specific flywheel pulley bearing for You're the just Cummins, talking about it. and I'm like, Bro, what on earth? That happened to Ryan and I. Yes. Just the other day. So we were talking about uh, just UPS drivers and their like pay and benefits and how good it is. And then the first TikTok is a UPS driver breaking down his salary and benefits. (laughs) It was unbelievable. I'm not even. Yeah, exactly. We both looked at each other and go, holy Holy crap. Like it was not an hour later. Specific. How do you get that? How do you get that? 
I don't know, man. I'm it's not trying listening. to go full tinfoil hat here, man. but it's it's a little too much. Well, I actually, I don't think you're going tinfoil hat saying that true. our phone is listening. It's just a, it's a matter of fact. Um, I just saw a video this morning, actually, that uh, Meta and Ray Bans are making. A, yeah, those look cool, but I don't know if I want to get on the whole Meta what? train. Kind of like sunglasses. virtual reality sunglasses, but like um, basically it'll see you know what you're looking at, and you just go like. Hey, what kind of camera is that? If you're wearing the glasses or sunglasses, and it'll like recognize this. Well, they Sony are the Ray Ban ones. I've seen that where they have the cameras in them. Are I, you thinking about this at all, Ken? Live stream I was. and AI no. technology. That, that's such a privacy invasion. I feel like. Yeah. That tor- this Dude, is where every, we draw the every, line. Are you fucking serious? Everything I feel like else you're just saying. Your light switches just, are on a fucking system. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, but like have live stream back to Facebook everything that you see and do for a day. How that's, is that not a privacy invasion? That's like uh, back that's in the early days idea. of Facebook. When you used to take a photo, it would upload it to a public mobile uploads folder. Dude, okay, how about how, how about when you used to buy something? It was like very short-lived, but Facebook used to publish... Uh, when you'd make like a purchase and like really? guys were like oh, yeah, buying wedding rings for their oh you know yeah, girlfriends yeah, soon to yeah, be yeah. fiancés and it would get like posted on that. social media like so and so just bought a wedding ring that happened with uh an older I guess couple that I know back when Facebook would upload your mobile pictures uh oh well she sent him a bunch of you know news yeah was just sending them to you know her husband no big deal. Went on Facebook. What? No. Someone upload to Facebook. Someone like texted her then, but it had been up for a while because it yeah. was like one of those typical situations where you maybe weren't like I feel like you weren't checking Facebook as frequently yeah. back then. You weren't maybe only and on also, the computer. If you're not like if I saw Shit, it about someone on. I didn't really know, I probably wouldn't text them or message them and be like, "Yo, this is what's going on." I just would just see that, that and then crazy. keep scrolling. It's an easy mistake to make, though. The, yeah, but and that Think was someone that you shit. knew, like someone, someone we all know. Wow, yeah. that yeah. is a tough. That's tough. Stuff. I yeah. mean, they, they're not that bummed about it. They just laughed about it. Like, what are you going to do? It was a yeah. long time ago. I mean, true. Yeah, yeah they everybody forgot until now. But I do remember that point in Facebook where the status update was everything. And then it turned into like way more than a status update. It was truly like where I am, what yeah. I'm buying. Mm-hmm. But I do agree with Ken with the, uh, here's why I think the Ray-Ban glasses are an invasion of pr- privacy or a plan to be. So they put Ray-Ban name on it. Cool. Obviously, they're cool glasses. I like that. Then I'm expecting the price to be way more. You go and look, the starting price is about $300. That's wow, not that's bad. not that bad. That So that's where it's concerning. It's a fair price. It's like they're, that, well, that's they're a, yeah. just Wayfarers. That, that's a common sense. It has to be subsidized. Like that has to be like cost at that point. You know why they're so cheap? Because they're Cause trying to get them on be, everyone's face. Because Meta went, yeah, if everybody wears these, I'm going to make way more money. Yeah. It's like so selling prob- a fucking crack yeah. pipe oh, to a crack addict. Exactly. Gonna, well, they'll buy the crack later. So I was just very <laughs> surprised at how low the price was because they want them on everybody's face. Yeah. They want to see what the inside of your bedroom looks like, Ken. Not a chance. Not a chance. Ken, oh, yeah. I'm surprised that you're not. Are any of you guys looking to build healthier eating habits this fall? Well, Green Chef is here to help. Every Green Chef customer gets a free session with a registered dietitian who can walk you guys through how to make clean eating work for you. Sign up today and start your free journey towards better health and get dinner on the table during busy weeknights for the whole gang with four-person meal kits from Green Chef. They provide everything you guys need to make dinner, organized in one easy, convenient bag. There's less waste, it's easier cooking, and it's also easier cleanup. One of the hardest parts from me about cooking is making sure I get all the right ingredients. That's why I love using Green Chef. Get the exact amount of stuff you need for dinner delivered straight to your door. And I love that Green Chef not only saves me a trip to the store, but limits wasted food and money as well. So guys, go to greenchef.com slash 60 wide open and use code 60 wide open to get 60% off plus free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash 60 wide open and use code 60 wide open to get 60% off plus free shipping. Thanks, Green Chef. I'm not surprised that you already know some much about them but uh i'm surprised that you're not maybe a little bit into them yo these are gonna be amazing for filming pranks though if you can just oh film. True. yeah Shit. that's what i'm okay that's so sick one thing i, I haven't that, heard yet actually. is can you just film with them yeah i don't know i don't know the only thing i saw was just capture dude oh my gosh oh, yeah. I Ken, order this yourself is the up first a first generation of these. I think there's been a couple. Order really? yourself up a pair. Yeah, there there has been. I've seen them with the, with the glasses. There's the got standard 12. prank glasses. That hey, I mean, look like shit. They're obviously prank glasses. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But twelve is megapixels. That a no, 
I'm uh I'm into it though. Really? You ask Why Ken. Is it beeping red. <laughs> yeah. They have. Oh like, what? You ask Ken if he's into it, but like, yeah, I'm I'm I would love to order a pair and try them. Yeah, Ken, order yourself up a pair. You love Ray Bans. You love technology. Ken does love Ray Bans. I don't know how this great. would make Ken's life easier though. That's the. Oh, interesting. Yeah, color. Oh, the pre-orders. Wait, do they have screens on the inside of the lens? No, that? I think it's just a capture. Oh. oh, I think it's literally just a camera on it. Yeah, so oh. that's not so at all what you're oh, thinking. Okay. I yeah, I thought they I maybe thought it displayed was, something. Like, something up. Yeah, then I think then they be. Do you guys remember the Oakley sunglasses there. that you or the Oakley goggles that used to do that with your, your GoPro GPS, yeah. telemetry? Te- telemetry, sorry. Uh, yeah, you'd be like skiing down a mountain, right? And it would show you your speed and your elevation really? and the run. Yeah, pretty sick. Really? I don't know if they still do it. Oh, yep. Here we go. Heads up display. Dude, I feel like expensive sunglasses are out of style. Is that just me? No, they're, no, for they're sure. in the same. I, I, I think they're agree. in the, the little less, but I think they're in the same amount of style as they've always been. But you just have your wares. I feel and you like have, when you I was don't. like younger and first getting into sunglasses, it was like, oh, you yeah, got yeah, Oakleys. Both, oh, yeah. you got. I agree. Ray Bans. Yeah, like those are like you want to get like the nice ones. And then like nowadays, I've never had like an actual legit like nice name brand i just buy cheap glasses like you know but I also think, keep in mind you'd lose them if you did right mm-hmm. well i don't even think it's i that. just think it's just like I, I don't know i think it's just the fact that they can break so easily and whatever and i don't know if they're necessarily better like i truly don't think they're better well the argument always used to be that the lens quality was so much better because I, I mean, if you went and bought like my dad never wore sunglasses he would only buy like cheap gas station ones which and, suck. Which suck. They still suck to this day. And then he bought his first pair of like Maui Gyms or Ray-Bans or whatever. And he's like, wow, they're amazing. I don't have headaches anymore. It actually really? Yeah. yeah it, he I saw there's something to be said there. But I think he could throw on a pair of bums, blenders, you know, anything that isn't $500 or $300 for a pair of sunglasses yeah. and still have the same effect now. Like I yeah. feel like the cheap sunglasses are now better. It's yeah. just nice having so many different pairs and colors. I and do all love that. that. Too, that's you know, that's the trade off. And- I'd never make. My parents wore Oakleys and they were snobs about it. No, oh, n- not wearing anything but Oakleys. Really? Yeah, they really? were. Which that's is surprising because yeah. your parents, I don't think, Frugal. were snobbed about anything. Yeah, and they were like, the only time we're getting a new pair of shades is, and they'd wear them for years and years. But uh, then I guess on my first pair of, like, I legit saved up allowance oh, yeah, money, same. mowing money to buy my first pair of Oakleys. I didn't know shit gas back then. White gas cans. Yeah. Uh, no, I, yeah, I actually got like brown gas can. They were gas can smalls because I was so little. I'll have a picture. <laughs> yeah, I, I might have a picture. Yeah. I'll find one. I could probably find a picture of it, and I will. Ken and I had uh, Oakleys <laughs> when we were young. Oil rigs. Uh, Ken I, had oil rigs, brother. Yeah. Ken had oil rigs. The big boys. And then I had the gas cans. So we were oh, quite the guy fucking right duo. That's what Ken looks like. Look at the guy. Right there, right One there. more over. Look oh. at him, dude. <laughs> Bro, that straight up looks like him. That when is I, the model. When I that met the... you guys, you guys both ride up on your jet skis. You got Oakleys on. Oh You're just like gosh. looking yeah. around. I just had this picture pop up in my memories, and it was Ken and I riding four-wheeler. Dude, I want to get those Oakleys on the left next to Pat right Mahomes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. are like rare, dude. Yeah, they yeah came those out are back rare. in the day. Usually those are fire, dude. Two grand. Oakley sells those, those on their sick, site for I two grand. I probably wouldn't lose them, though. Probably wouldn't wear probably them either. Yeah, I was going to say, probably wouldn't <laughs> wear them. If I had those, I would wear them. No, Ben, the, look so can you imagine? So Ben just loves wearing those. These are the over-the-top top Oakleys that we're talking about. And uh, they're quite literally called that. You, you know what the hardest part for you, Ben? You'd love wearing them so much, but you're like, they keep messing up my hair. You got like curly hair, and you're gonna have two lines down the center of your head. Yeah, yeah I Rick love wearing them, but part like, it, part it, and then it would pop yeah. out the top. Here's a picture with Ken, top. Ken right. with two Holy chicks shit. and his oil rigs. Well, he needs to get oil. Wow. Oh again. my <laughs> gosh, that yeah. could be you, Ben. You know, man, that's so fast. And in the state of fair embarrassment, here's me. Yes, here's me in a pair of gas cans. Oh man. <laughs> In the at the time though, like you looked cool. Yeah, I was wearing a fucking Jordan shirt holding six walleye. <laughs> that was cool. That was his Tinder profile picture. <laughs> it was. I think that was the hot or not days. At least I wasn't Justin, dude. Oh, Justin! Oh. I don't think Justin ever had Oakleys. He was always wearing <laughs> what, gas what station were, what shades. Were these? The uh, what? What's that model called? Like you aviators. See, like, like Sharon's wearing them. Like uh-huh. moms still wear them. They were like aviators, but they were cheap aviators when they like couldn't somehow get the design right, I feel like. 
Yeah, dude. I remember always that exact responsible. That exact yeah. picture was Justin's dad bought a hundred sunglasses off of Amazon for like fourteen dollars or some you know ridiculous price, and it was like before you know you, you knew what to do with cheap internet shopping, so you just bought them. Last there thing, there's nothing wait. else to do than buy everything. <laughs> like back wait, when I, he bought a hundred pairs of sunglasses, sunglasses. all at. 14 uh, bucks a pair? No, no, no. It was like 14 bucks for the lot. Oh, Gosh, it was very cheap. That's been back glasses. when Amazon was like... They were. Quarter. No, I, but I remember I had a hard. friend that uh, he went to Mexico on vacation and he got me some like rip-off uh, sunglasses. Yep. I got yeah. like the Folkleys. Spies mm. and then the, the yep. Folkleys and those things were bad. But that's what yeah. I would wear. I, I would, like those had some terrible Badass? No, I, <laughs> bad. I look cool in them. I look cool in them. At least I thought. And spies. I can see you being a spy, fella. Yeah. I have <laughs> lost so many sunglasses over the years. I bet I've lost 50 pairs of sunglasses. Oh, my God. And I still find them every once I mean, in a while. That's the best part. You find them. I've also had, like, subs come up, and they'll ask, like, mm, I'll, like, do time. a thing. I don't know what it is about my glasses, because they're not, they're just standard glasses. And, uh, those but they like, flashy. Can I, ha- can I have your sunglasses? And I'll be like, uh... I kind of need them to like, I'm going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's sunny out. Uh, but I have given them away a couple times. I always regret it because I'm like, I don't have sunglasses, sunglasses now. now. <laughs> For me, I'm just like, what do you got to trade, bro? And then if it's good, I'll trade them. Trade up. That's fair. I yeah. just have a little last PSA about uh, sunglasses, um, aviator frames in particular. Out of style. We're all on the same consensus. I don't know if they're out of style. If you're Tom Cruise, you can wear aviators. If you're someone who looks good in aviators, and you'll know. If you look bad in aviators, stop wearing aviators. Well, Bro, I don't know if, if avi- look, aviators can go out of style, though. They've been around since, that's like, what I'm saying, the yeah. 70s or 80s. You like either a look long good time, in... 80s, I don't know, but, yeah, long, long time. If You'll you know. look good in aviators, people probably tell you, you look good in aviators. If nobody has told you that... I could never frame, brother. Yeah. People sitting in their car right now, looking look, look in, yeah, in, in the review mirror, going like, ah, shit. Like, do I look funny in these? <laughs> they just go and trade them in for the Oakley over-the-top FMJs. <laughs> Used. God, $2,000 pair, and they just look, they, they're driving in that now. Now you look great. Didn't uh, Justin Jefferson yeah, wear those? Yeah, he got those, mm-hmm. man. He seems to always have a new pair of shades each game. I don't know how he's affording it. Yeah, that's tough. I wonder, yeah, it doesn't seem like you think he makes good money. Dude, Justin Jefferson's out See, of here, bro. There's something about a I guy think like he's him. planning on just dipping, which I hate to say. Yeah. Oh, he's, God. I feel like he's over the Vikes. Like, he's just like, you know, they're losing, and he's a winner, and he knows he's not really fucking up. But uh, Dang, there's, just, there's something about a guy shit. like like Justin Jefferson. I, th- I think Ben has it too, where they can just wear anything and they look cool. Even though they're kind of funny looking. Like Justin Jefferson yeah. isn't God a good looking guy. No, but yeah, like but he's, got some, <laughs> he's got like swag, Humble. but also like a certain like style to him that he's he can just wear anything. And like, I feel like I can't wear cool shit. Like, like if no. I wore those glasses, I, I wouldn't, I just look <laughs> stupid. I just look stupid. I like, really want to see I would love those, to see you wear those. I can't, I can't do cool hairstyles for one, cause I don't have hair, but for two, if I did, I'd still probably look weird. Mm-hmm. Okay. Know? There's something to be said though, about too hard of a change up. Yeah. Like when you transition right. into it, then no one really notices it. The slower, the better. Sure. Whatever. But yeah, if you're just like one day I want to wear this, then everyone's going to go, that is different. Like, do you think I could pull off hats if I just, Ex- if so I just no, changed right. my entire no, life, no, here's moved no, across the country no. and never met anyone oh, that yes, seen me before. hundred percent. Only wore hats. One hundred percent. You want to know what right. I want to see Ryan wear? <laughs> You Being real, what? you could wear hats if you moved away and no one knew you. <laughs> and you were you okay with could. never get some XLs. Making another friend. Get the big oh brim. Gosh, or the big having brim. anyone trust you. <laughs> put this hat on. No, dude, right? you're just gonna make fun of me. Put this on. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, put I it know. on. Put it on. It's kinda weird. Just don't tell me what to do. <laughs> okay. See that does <laughs> See, I'm you saying know, well, like hurt cousins. Ben <laughs> told you to put it on straight and you didn't, but you gotta, it's like, not straight. It out. Um but yeah, no. If you want it, doesn't look that great. Yeah, Ryan, saying, wear it to the back with it kind of cocked to the side, like like I don't know, like this, that. like when oh, you wear your hat yeah, like this. Yeah, a little sometimes. bit of like Jersey Shore and you. No, but I, if Ryan did start wearing hats, like yes, of course Ryan we'd eventually like a get used kid to it. Right now. I don't know, so, right? man. Are you telling me that this hat from cboystv.com will look good on anybody? Dude, I really, think so. If, if it looks good it looks on good. Ryan, yeah. it really. Might. You know what I want to see Ryan wear though? 
those like uh, sample pants that we got for the next merch drop. Oh, it look good. Oh, I want to see Ryan wearing those. I just uh, like I saw Ben in them and I went, yeah, they look sick. And then I went, I don't know if anybody can pull these off. But then we talked about how they're riding pants and how they have other uses. And then now I love them. Honestly, cut that. it's true though. I don't know if everybody could pull those pants off. I think uh, Ben for sure can. Evan can. I even think I might be able to. Really? Yeah, but like, <laughs> I feel like Ken and and possibly you. I don't know if it fits your like, damn mantra or whatever mantra or whatever you really? call it. You what know? would you say my mantra is if you had to the say the way it? you're dressed right now? A Coors Light, <laughs> the uh, crew neck, and yeah, just crew neck comfy. and like some blue jeans. Wearing like a shirt that has like a stupid little saying on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could yeah, doing do, that though. I do. Let's see it. It's just, it's just stupid. Wait, what is it? It's Wait, just like, what is it? What's it say? Everything I have to do is illegal. That's a good shirt. Oh, that's actually a good shirt. <laughs> that's a good shirt. That's not a stupid no, saying. No, that's a good one. No, oh, I was you, I was yeah. I, I, I like your meme shirts, but yeah, certain people just some have people the got look. the swagger, man. Yeah, some people got the swagger. Isn't it interesting? I wonder how you develop that. I think I you're don't know if you're born can. with it. Yeah, or yeah, I keep yeah. in mind, I think partial fashion it has to match your personality yeah to a, and you to gotta have the look though to begin with too you know you gotta well, have the look i think i agree but i think that's what a lot of people are scared of hearing yeah is, no that's is the being truth like, of it though yeah it's being like don't have the look. do i have the I look have yeah. the look shit so then, somebody told me if i have the look or not you, you're looking well, in the mirror with those aviators you pop them down you go my whole life is a lie listen listen what you, who even am i everybody's got a look for a certain style but there's not, some, there's not always a style for your look, you know, or a certain style isn't going to, you know, there's plenty of good other alternative options that fit your, your, your look, man. Yeah, don't give up yet, Ryan. I'm not, hey, like you're I'm in the same boat as you, dude. I can't fucking pull off anything either. I wouldn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> At first I felt honored that you were like, oh no, I'm like you. And then I, then I caught the insult. Well, hey, it was both of us. It's both of us. <laughs> classic dude when mike got those pants though that were like so wide like 12 Box. inches wide on each leg he looked amish yeah i mean that was just went too big because i mean let's be real here i mean i used to wear like skinny jeans in high school you can pop a pick you guys can roast me i was pick up both of them that yeah, was not two a, different mics it was not a good time but then Why? now as, it was so tight on your your balls or what no, I mean, at the, at the time, I guess it was fine. I honestly didn't get made fun of all oh, that what? much for it. You said it. those were just tough times, or what did you they say? They were, because now <laughs> I have to look back on them and be very disappointed oh, in myself. Yeah, okay. oh, well, it doesn't help that they were fucking purple. Yeah, there was like, some that purple was just ones, some just red ones. Yourself up, you know? Jake makes me feel better that he still wears, like, colored jeans. I'm like, <laughs> was wearing, I used to do that. He was wearing, like, blue jeans, not, like, denim yeah, blue jeans, but they're, like, dyed blue. blue yeah. yeah, and then he was also wearing a blue shirt today. I but, did notice that. But, yeah, <laughs> morning, is, out this but it, that's what I mean. It works. If, I, yeah. if you saw me in that, you'd be like, who? Did Who's you this close your you eyes are? today? Exactly. It, but, and no. you're right. And maybe Ryan couldn't even, and I don't know why you'd want to, transition to dressing like that i'm saying it would take years ryan's you, it'd okay, be three well, years from now transitioning that outfit could be normal for you but again i don't know if you want it to be but no jake pulls it off well ryan's transitioning yeah, that'll be a good topic later I'm but yeah so as, glad as we got four transitions out without you guys talking about my transition glasses god mike i miss you know what days. i love about this picture mike is most people go to vegas and they're like i need to dress nice and cool suit like, up i'm wearing my suit i'm for, getting my good clothes out for the and record you just dress even worse than you normally dress the last time or the i shot the first time we were there i absolutely thought that mm -hmm. and then i was like wait nothing matters no nothing especially in vegas i don't think it matters at all man I, I don't know if this is the uh absolute reasoning but you know you go to vegas your girl's on edge you send a picture of yourself wearing that to your girl it's a good point what's nothing, that nothing to worry was about. that a, a strategic play <laughs> on your part I you were like look listen was, babe but... i'm not fucking around look at the way i'm dressed <laughs> I, if anything i'm letting them know like you don't even want nothing to do with me <laughs> Yeah, no, it wasn't a strategic, but that's a good point. Nothing gets makes your girl happy like saying, "Look, babe, look how unappealing I am to other women." Yeah, see, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> Luckily, when when we're in Vegas, we don't even hang out in spots where there's women. Like we're just. Gambling. I don't think I've seen a single girl. Yeah, we're in always Vegas. with like, like dead serious. We don't go to the clubs and all that. And but what about that big the big group photo we you and I took? It was like me, you, 
slot machine, slot machine, slot machine, slot machine. That group photo we took. With all the slot machines of just yeah. Hanging with you? That what you're calling girls now? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. No, yeah. No, honestly, I was going to say, we're not hanging anywhere cool where there's like chicks hanging around. Like, I don't know. We're not picking up anyone other than maybe like a senior citizen that's smoking (laughs) next to me at the fucking slot machine. I got to be careful for those. The the stereotype of Vegas is like guys group goes there and finds a bunch of hot chicks and they, you know, like stuff like that. I we've been to Vegas 3 times. I've never seen a girl there. It's yeah. it is solely dudes going there to have a dudes weekend. You start going to places like throw we, too we many see girls places. there to be clear, but there, it's not like a like a picking up spot. Like if you were a single yeah, you're right. dude, I mean, you shouldn't. Yeah, I like downplay you up. know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. but also if you were single, look, we probably wouldn't hang at the spots we hang. We're we're like hanging in the, I mean, truly degenerate. Yeah. places like otherwise we'd maybe go to like the pool and like go to these parties and pool parties and like all this other stuff but back in the day vegas was like very high class like everyone used to dress up and wear like suits and like their nicest stuff and it was like very fancy and now it's kind of gotten uh this route back when my, mark the mic route. back when yeah. mark used to buy us tables at the club i think next podcast uh ken you should wear a suit yeah What's with you and making me wear suits? <laughs> you I, do love off, to see, man. I just love to see Ken wearing a suit and my absolute dream is to see him in that top hat. Oh, oh dude. Whatever yeah. happened to that top hat? What's your beef with that, We still that have too? that thing? No, no he stomped it on the well, ground Well, you tried like throwing times. away multiple times. You stomped on it multiple times, but I dug it out of each garbage can, I'm pretty sure. I never let you throw that thing away. That was a nice hat. It's like a $120 hat. Burn that next time. What? Why do you hate well, yeah, that hat so it, much? It's like a little top me wearing that hat is like Ryan wearing every other, other like every anything. Other hat. Okay, it's not even close to that bad. <laughs> Jeez, come on, man! I was gonna be on your team here. That's not even close. Ken, you look fantastic. Yeah, I, like yeah, I hate that hat. I just can't believe that you hate that hat so much. Like it's just so strange. Like I hate that hat. You like making me wear that hat because I hate wearing that hat. Oh, no, Ken, but, you look good in it. No, you I look think good you look it. good. But what I'm if not what you look good in like a sexually appealing way? Like you walk through a crowd and every girl's going to turn at you and go, "Wow, I need to get a piece of that man." But when everybody looks at you, they're going to go, "Damn, that guy is dressed up dapper." I I don't see it that that style hat is the absolute opposite. Of Can we that. pop up a picture? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm I was trying. like, if you're if you're, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That's so good, man. If you're yeah, trying to picture good. what you Ken are looks like, yourself. If you think that's a good looking hat, I'm, I'm no, saying Ken, not you're just lying to yourself. Don't wear it to a first date, but you know, wear it when you're driving the limo around for the boys or when we're having a night out know. in Vegas. Ken, I think you gotta start wearing suits. I agree, Ben. Fuck no. Yeah. You just you like need to start wearing a very dapper looking guy. You know, like I think you just maybe trim the beard up. Oh my God! People are gonna think you're a boss as soon as you walk in wearing a suit. I walk in wearing a suit. They're like, the the, "What is this guy box? doing?" I like that. What's I definitely. You should start carrying around like twenty five hundred cash all <laughs> times. For why? Just I'd say more tabs. I'm not even joking. If you see someone open their wallet and pull one one hundred dollar bill out, but you see like more? a decent amount of thickness and you know they're all hundreds, you're like, Let's "What mug him. is that?" Oh, <laughs> let's mug him. Oh, okay, no, I that guy I doing. That. Can you what imagine you the we like the first night that he wears a suit, puts twenty five hundred in his it's wallet, mugged. gets mugged because we gave him all the freaking. We're like, dude, you look so good. Yeah, look at how happy we were. And look for at the record, he was. Look at how happy we were. Yes. Look at what I'm wearing. <laughs> what am I wearing? Dude, what am I Ken. wearing? Ken, you look so good, bro. It does not. It does not do me any favors wearing that. Hat. Well, it doesn't help that your suit's a little big. We could get your suit tailored. <laughs> Like, let's maybe focus on the suit before we focus on the hat. You yeah, know? The, hat the hat fits hat fine. Yeah, the hat's fine. The hat is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and for those... What was that for, Justin's you wedding? You only love yeah, that hat garbage. because I hate it. No! That's no, we loved it before. I grabbed the hat, and I gave you the hat. And you Whoa, put it, it on... Also, you hated, you hated wearing the construction uniform. Remember when we oh, had him wearing the cut-off that. sleeves? Yeah. God, you yeah. look good there, yeah, too. you look good in that. Look at this one, Ryan. <laughs> Like, like those man. are two fits like, what that really beef? fit Ken's mantra. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh my God. What were you doing yeah, with all that alcohol? <laughs> he was just stocking up in Normal the Normal day. Is that for Wii Fest? Ken like, dressed oh. like a construction worker for Wii Fest. Hey, that was the day that we got the No Can Do van. Oh, yeah, that was exciting. It. That's why we did that. That was a good time. I can't believe we still have Wait, that. But you hate that stuff because it no, was associated I, with getting the van? No. Uh, uh, I misheard me. what you said. That's why I hate it, you said, after the van. You, I, I 
disliked it because you got the van. You got to dress the part for it. Well, you can't wear whatever oh, you're wearing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's oh, funny. Yeah. That's like what we do literally every single video. Yeah. We got to go back to that, man. I love that time, man. That was fun. Ken getting mad about us putting all these stuff, all outfits on him and stuff. Well, is, like we is really just Evan stuff like that. It's though. just Evan when we ask him to put on a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> you guys just want me to wear it because I hate it. Yeah. yeah sure. Whatever. <laughs> just put it on. Yeah. Yeah. You're that's why, Evan, I don't care about your life. I just want you to be not happy. No, I'm not wearing that stupid thing. <laughs> I look like an idiot. You would look so much better with the hat. It looks Cheeto. It looks Cheeto. <laughs> like, what were you looking at here again? I think that picture got edited. Someone. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, I, I that picture, was, I don't look very flattering. You that, edited it. That was it. a mashup of two faces. And what? I think they got, they got no, I have how? like multiple, like like I mean, many. How? Like, here's oh. one, too. You're still looking. You're looking at it, but it's like it moves. Probably looking at his hat. From here. You Thank see you a girl in sandals? It. You mean a skirt? <laughs> and look, look, and then you got the head tilt on this one. You even got then now your head's tilted. I can't see it from that far away. We can make a deal. If you wear the hat and suit in Vegas, you guys can dress me up well, funny. Ve Vegas oh my god, a, yes, we're doing that. Vegas is an I knew you guys would jump on that. Well, that's a great deal. What the Ken, you gotta yeah, do that, man. I'll do that. You're gonna wear a suit in Vegas and we get to dress Ryan up however we want. Well, yeah, not however. You just said it. You just said it. Yeah, not however, it. just within reason. Oh my gosh. We're I would just put rules like that, you have to dress me like a male. I have to be <laughs> Oh yeah, we can I do have that. to be appropriately clothed. Wait, just yeah. like appropriately covered. Yeah, I don't for want like sure. my balls hanging that. out. Or we can do like that. that. That's okay. no problem. Ryan, that is a very loose. Yeah, we're, we're doing know. that deal. I know. Right there. I trust me. I wish I hadn't spit it out previously. What but did, he did uh, it for you, Ken. You know, uncomfortable, Ryan. I feel like you're the most. Like, if you were wearing something like with like an aggressive saying on your shirt, you would be the most uncomfortable wearing it. Would you not agree? That's a fine line because I'm the guy who wears the stupid T-shirts. I'm saying True, aggressive. It is a fine line. aggressive. Aggressive. Like, how aggressive? Like, like, like a shirt me, that bro. just says, like, yeah, like like one of Danny's shirts. Like, I come like, in, in me, bro. Or, or like, <laughs> you know. So aggressive. That is aggressive. Just a shirt that just says the F word on it. Mm. Like, I, I could see Evan just wearing a shirt that says the F word right across. Just black shirt, white text. Yeah. And he'd just wear it. Well, That's he was wearing aggressive. the shirt that, that I think you got him. But it says all this in a nice dick too. <laughs> I did and get that for him. He was wearing that in a in a video, <laughs> and I I just go, hey, yo, that's definitely probably gonna get us like flagged on YouTube. I love the shirt, but like, can't wear may, it. Maybe he wasn't put very some, happy. About put something that else on, either. and he goes, "You guys bought this for me." Yeah, he I go, pulled well, everyone together. Yeah, but I mean, it's a funny shirt, but. Also, I'm not trying to get demonetized. Yeah, I didn't buy it for a video or even a. Even a podcast. That was like me all day at Heydays on Sunday. Like earlier that morning, someone traded me a hat. Didn't think much of it. The hat says skinny dips and bong rips. And I wore it all day in like a hundred pictures. Mm. And then with kids. Yeah. Nice. I was nice. like, why didn't anyone tell me I had this hat on? I'm the <laughs> one who put it on, but still. All right. So my niece is four years old and uh, no, she's five. <laughs> she's five years old. And she was asked to draw her family tree. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And this is a photo of the family tree that she drew. Alex, come come here and look at this. Have you seen this, Alex? What the I want to get your reaction. Which one are you, the little one? I don't think I'm I'm extended family. Right. Look at that. That's that's <laughs> that's our family tree. Whole lot of dicks in your family, huh? That's CJ. CJ. That's tough. That's tough. She is an aspiring <laughs> artist. Doing a good job. Apparently, the uh, little uh, black balls <laughs> at the bottom of the shaft are shoes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Where's the arms? <laughs> oh, I guess no arms. No arms. Why, yeah, why? You, yeah, you go, why? Why, why are there no arms? Well, otherwise, they wouldn't look like dicks. Bro. <laughs> or she's just a grade A troller. They had that yeah. shit like hanging up on yeah. the wall. She's school. trying to be like yeah, Uncle maybe Ben. Maybe that is. Maybe that's. Yeah, that that'd be, be funny if you're in like high school art uh, or whatever. You draw that, and then like if they get all mad about, it, be like, "What? Well, I'm art. a bad artist. Like this is this is the best I can do." I can't believe the teacher wasn't like, "Okay, now like let's you know draw some art." Yeah, the teacher yeah. had to have been like, laughing. Like, like, like the, the yeah. teacher, the teacher had to have been like, "Holy shit, this is gonna be this is gold." This is Who's gold. the one on the top middle? 
Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> <laughs> why is like, the one in the top actually, middle wearing what is going shoes on for on that one? The whole it's body. body. Yeah, I don't know. That's tough. Bottom one's got a little lean to the left too. My favorite's top left for sure. Solid shoes. Yeah, that solid one's, head. Yeah, very defined. Proportional. Very defined. Definitely yeah. the longest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, she like brought it home and was super proud of it. Like, look at the family tree that I drew. And then my brother, <laughs> her dad, thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I can imagine. It kind of is. What an artist. I thought I had a picture of her holding it. She was so stoked about it. That's Aww. one of those things you can't even make up, man. No. You can't. You no. can't. That is just the best. Yeah. At least we know how she really feels about your family. <laughs> <laughs> well, I go, I asked Sam, I said, what the fuck's going on at home? <laughs> you know what would have been funnier, though? If it was like just one picture and it's just like a nice little and that like, cute girl. All the rest <laughs> of that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, my whole family's a bunch of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> one time when I was in elementary school... Uh, I it casually mentioned in passing that my dad was addicted to Coke because oh, he yeah. loves Coca-Cola soda. Yeah. So my teacher asked, does he do Coke when he's around you? I go, of course. <laughs> Whenever we're driving, he always has a Coke. <laughs> does he ever have you hold the Coke? And I go, yeah, I go get him Coke when he's watching TV. <laughs> I do this whole thing, get into the principal's office, you know, te- like, family tell us comes more. in. Yep. I I do the whole counseling thing, and then the family comes in, and they go, so we need to talk about the drug problem. Do you feel safe at home? You know, stuff like that. And uh, then it came out that my dad has just a lot of Coca-Cola pop. (laughs) Man, that would have been uncomfortable. Can you imagine? The faces of any, like, faculty, principal, do you remember? Like, what? Like, that had to have been priceless. I feel like that's one of those. Them just being like, and I don't remember. No, I'm sure there was lots of laughing, Coca-Cola. but I do remember it being very serious. Like, right. do you feel safe to go home? Oh, even after they found no, it? How old oh. are you, Ryan? I don't know. Probably 12th like grade? first grade. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like a seventh <laughs> grader or something like that. You imagine you get in the truck afterwards and Randy goes, hey. Thanks for Thanks. covering <laughs> up for me with that whole Coca-Cola shit. Man, that was, you pulled that that was, was genius. Gold. Man, that oh, was my God. Quick. Was I was quick. sweating bullets. Uh, or even better if he, like, said that just in earshot of them as they're, like, walking away. That would have been hilarious. Oh, man. Good Kids. save, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good save. Kids do the darndest things. Uh, pull up. Yeah, speaking of which, pull up that other video I just airdropped you. Uh, so this is my nephew. He's seven months old. And my brother caught him sitting on a four wheeler. Quite the household they got going over there. <laughs> Jeez, disappointed uh, would be an <laughs> understatement. To say the least. Yeah, he looks pretty happy. Yeah, he does. He does. Well, at least he rides, the stickers, dude. man. I like it, dude. To find out that my that my wasn't nep- my dude, he nep- probably rides harder than you. Probably. Yeah, but he's gonna be a quad guy. I mean, you look how those guys turn out. Shit. Yeah, I know, right? So yeah, he got grounded for a week. Did he really? Yeah. Good. Can't be having that. Where the fuck do you get that thing? I don't know. I must have stole it or something. <laughs> Not I, only a quad rider, but a thief. Thief. A little crypto. Two things that go just hand with in each other. Yeah. yeah. And then, Ken, pull up this last video that I sent you right there that's <laughs> popped up. All right. What do we got going on here? Dude, this oh. is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Uh-oh. Oh, um, <laughs> wow. wow. That was the longest crash I've ever seen. I mean, the oh, only... is he on fire? Yeah, wow. I think he is on fire. Oh, no, shit, that guy is shit, face. too. Bro, and that looks like a fire. video game when it kind of, like, glitches. Like, you know, Seriously. like, it doesn't know if to flip you over or which way. And it kind of... Go, go back the to the go back to the moment when he, when he goes up on it, though. Like, I don't even know how this is possible. Just like gravity, bounces. physics. Uh, looks oh, science. my. Yeah. What? No, it doesn't make any sense. Why is his arm out for a second? Like he's up on top and he almost holds up like a number one. He's like, like he yeah. just like he just won the race. Like it was like a quick like fist pump over the finish line. He maybe thought he was on Pretty the ground. Clean front flip though. Yeah, it really was. Probably did less damage riding up on a and then leave it to the guy to just pole. biff it full feet up. Those guys have been yeah. That guy for a that's while. tough. <laughs> did he face plant? That's yeah, tough. He touches his Dude, face to the ground. Everything. This guy might have came out of that in worse shape than the other guy. One hundred percent. The dude. other guy's a legend. That guy's just clumsy. <laughs> Can you imagine if he got like like stayed up there? That would be the only thing that would make that video it, crazier. I feel like the oh tires God. almost like cushioned his fall. Like he was. Yeah, he it, came in with a lot of momentum, and it like caught him, slowed him down, and then let him back down. It was a pretty smooth 
landing, like still, a front flip. Yeah, still was obviously he tuck and a rolled. hard crash and whatnot. But yeah, it really cushioned him. Some wild shit happens. Can play the video that I just uh, sent to you. I know we've talked a lot about Monster Jam on this podcast, probably because we love it. After meeting Ryan Anderson and, uh, you know. Legend, dude. Love yeah, that guy. Yeah, legend, his dad at Cletus's. Like, I had no, I knew there was a lot of grave diggers. I knew there was more than one. I knew there was, you know, a couple. This is all of the grave diggers, you know, going out on a run together, which is so cool. It'd be so cool to be there. Every single monster show, like monster jam show, I'm watching his Instagram. It seems like every single one, he's like totaling out the truck. Not actually, but like, I just can't believe it. Wow. And they basically I, oh, just oh. all go and tell their, like, toast. Dude, it's, I love this. This had to have been so expensive. So expensive. One of them flipped. Oh, more than one. Honestly, they're all sending it just as hard for some of them being a lot older. How, how was there that many grave diggers driving? I didn't it? know. I, I, did you get a count on what? how many that was? At least I think it was two, three, seven four. or eight. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know there was more than one grave digger. Holy well, shit, it, it seems crazy. to be a title that's handed down. God, this had to have been electric to which, be there. Which I thought dude, this at guy first. Blew his body up. Oh my that gosh, that was a boot, dude. I thought at first that there was, yeah, one, then there was two. Then I'm like, oh, there might even be three. But apparently they just have uh, probably a literal airplane hanger full of these things. They yeah. have to, man. Oh my gosh, man. You can imagine the mechanic. This is like yeah, big. Yeah. Like, can big you imagine them standing there shaking? <laughs> <his head. laughs> yeah, watching this. Why you didn't even have to wreck? There was already six wrecked trucks. I love this. I would love that guy. Just literally turned into the jump so he'd roll. Yeah, he was like, "I'm tired." That guy did this. this time. <laughs> They're like, "We're going for a barrel roll." Dude, this is the coolest thing ever. I love monster trucks. There's nothing more American than monster trucks, especially Grave Digger. At Cletus's, yeah. I was asking him, I was like, dude, that's got to hurt, right? And he's yeah. like, so bad. Oh, really? Every right. single time. He was like, yeah, man. Those big ones. Yeah, wow. dude, there's no way to have it not hurt. Yeah, there's yeah. Just- And I was like, I was like, that makes me feel so much better knowing that. And I have so much more respect. Respect, yeah. 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 I was like, like, everything that I thought now is, I guess, true. Verified. Yeah. And that is way fucking crazier in my head that like you're out there doing that and you're also getting beat the shit out of like you're you're just doing it for the entertainment of the people because we all knew like landing like that has you feel there's it. no way there's no, no there's no way you even tip a side by side on the roof from you just doing it. a donut it it's hurts. aggressive so let alone you're going like that we all knew it, but it seems like most of those drivers, they never say it hurts. They're about it. They never say it. Like, I've asked a few, and they're always like, no, you don't even feel it. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what? But yeah, if you like guys, I, like, if you haven't checked out, just go to Son of a Digger's uh, Instagram. Like, he just posted, a, a like, an in-cam one. And, you know, it seems like we get a lot of air on dirt bikes. Some other people get a lot of air, air on dirt bikes. Like, dude, his shots are just, woo. He's up in the nose. Yeah, yeah, in a stadium. It's nutty. It Probably one of the cooler things in my life was when I walked up and I recognized them, obviously, and uh, they they both knew of us. Yeah, it was I was cool. like, I almost blacked out on the spot. I'm like, no, you guys, you guys are the cool guys. So hopefully one day we can go do monster truck stuff. He, he, he asked us, he said, you guys got to uh, mess with my dad. Uh, he's, <laughs> you know, he watches some of your videos. He thinks you guys are funny. And I'm like, bro, I'm not. I, uh, How do you mess yeah, with him? Yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to mess with your dad. He's graved. He's, gra- like he's gonna He's going to put me in a grave, bro. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> Mike goes up and so what'd you do? a legend. I just didn't. I just oh, said, you didn't just said hi. Things. I was like, I can't. I, can't. I was I talking didn't. to Evan about this, and he goes, I don't know. What am I going to do? Like the tabletop thing where like one person <laughs> like, crouches down, and then you push the other person. He's like 59. Mike and Evan tabletop him? He goes, he, the guy just gets up. He's like, hey, what the hell? And then the son comes, dad, dad, these are the guys we watch on YouTube. Who? Who? Yeah. Who? You, you know? know, the spaghetti limo <laughs> wine. It, it's no shocking statement that a lot of country music is the same. And Trucks, I. Beer. Yeah. If, if you hear a country nights. song, what would you expect it to contain? Trucks, beer, women. Friday nights. Oh, I like that. Friday nights. Uh, I saw this AI SpongeBob like music video thing and it, it captured. A hundred percent of exactly what a country song is. Ken, go roll the clip. 
Oh, bartender. Just, uh, just the usual, please. Kelp shake with, um, extra lean. Around here it's open, carry open, bottles too. And when the sheriff's in my door, I'm always hoping that it's you. No, I'm drinking days away at the salty spittoon. And the mob be looking yellow, but inside I'm feeling blue. Wow. Dude, Dude, that's good. Bro. Right? That's I'm good. I'm loving that. I'm loving that we are on like two sides of TikTok, but we're... So that was pretty fire. <laughs> I am on the... There's like a rap beef between Plankton, uh, Mr. Krabs, uh, <laughs> Squidward, Patrick, and SpongeBob. No, no. And you guys, yeah, they use AI. It is fire. Like it's heat. It's it like Hank be. Trill, but even better. It like Plankton's be. diss track on SpongeBob, you like actually... Up. Yeah, if you could look up like look up. Plankton diss track... You do realize what you just said, right? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Like that's a real statement. Yeah, bro, aggressive. it's aggressive. Yeah. All right, okay. Shit goes hard. I'm not so gonna yeah, and there's yeah, there's a whole hard. bunch yeah. of those. Mr. Krabs does it. A SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Mitch, Sandy does one. Bro, like just people everybody. get crazy. AI is taking over. They can do anything. Well, now. that's why there's a writer strike. They're what trying to get rid of AI. No, I, I don't think that's like the whole objective sure. of the writer strike. But I think that Partially. The, the writers are are trying to you know have something in place to obviously keep their jobs to protect them to protect them and and. Uh, you know, have more rights, I guess, when it comes to that. Dude, AI is going to take, I mean, everyone's been saying it for a long time, a lot of jobs. Mm. I think Not so. My jab. It's just one of, yeah. It's also just it's funny. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like, does that, uh, where does that better us as a society? Like, where did all these people go that lose their jobs to AI? I'm not, I'm not like anti, like AI and growth, I guess, or like anti-technology, but like, actually though. There's two sides to it. It's like the side that, is benefited by it and they're like, oh, this is great. Mm -hmm. I don't need to pay someone to do this. And this is doing it on like like that. Mm -hmm. And then there's the side that's like got replaced basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost the side of if you're running your own business and you're small and you're, let's say your crew's like 10 people and you start using AI and then you don't need any more people, you're like, this is great. And then when your crew's 100 people and you start using AI and then all of a sudden you don't need 10 people then it's not so great. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at Walmart. Walmart's like one of the biggest employers in the country. You know, every time I go to Walmart, there's like less checkout lanes and there's more self checkout. 2.3 million employees. That's not even AI though. <laughs> no, but it's just auto computer, automation. Just a computer. computer. Yeah, yeah. Like the yeah. same, you know, it's AI is, I guess, a very, very broad term. But just think a hundred years ago, most jobs people work at today didn't exist. Yeah, true. That's a good point. Very good point. So, it, it, granted, in a hundred years from now, a lot of jobs people think are common today probably will not exist. Won't it exist. would be standing on a goddamn point. soapbox preaching to the street. Could you imagine? What's the unemployment rate right now? Like, I wonder how much. Obviously, the entire government as a whole has a lot to do with the 3. unemployment 8%. rate. Three point eight percent. That's Okay, this really seems pretty way, good, right? Yeah, way lower than I thought. So with the big spike there, what was that? COVID. COVID. And what, so what did we get up to? Fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of the country was unemployed. That's actually less than I thought it would have been. I thought it would have been would have been higher. I think that's, that's the people, people bro. claiming unemployment. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Obviously, unemployment isn't really my shtick, and AI I don't think is advanced enough yet. So I'm going to outsource my labor like this guy did. I take the money that I would have spent on coffee and pay someone in India to do my job for me. It's allowed me to unleash Yo, don't my full tell potential. Ken Philadelphia that accountant this is Donald an opportunity. Felton outsources the majority of his daily workload to this is old. Governor Akashem, an accountant based in Bangalore, India. I get my assignment from my supervisor and I send it off to Jahanara. Sometimes I'll I'll look at it when it's done. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes I'll look at it when right. it's done. Mr. What's this guy doing? He's extremely happy with the accounting cents an hour Donald pays him. I'm able to feed my family, and Mr. Felton can devote more time to his family. <laughs> no. And Donald is just one of the close to 700,000 workers who've come is this to real? rely on overseas labor. I've actually gotten two raises since Jahanara started. I don't think it can this be. This is no, there's no way. There's no way. Right. This Your is first, too first funny. Clue is the onion on the bottom corner? Oh, oh dude, the onion is great I didn't news. see that. I didn't see that. But that was fantastic because the way they shot it, like it was, it, like it was real. Eight. 
Dude, The Onion has fooled so many moderately intelligent people. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It, I can yeah. totally see someone of my parents' age posting, like, some Onion article and being like, can you believe This is it? ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe the... Well, that happens. <laughs> Dude, they made, a, uh, they made a movie back in the day. And it's the onion movie. It's so funny. funny. It's funny. They they open up the scene with uh like an ad for neck belts. And the neck belt, <laughs> yeah, dude. The, the chick pulls up, run like rear end someone slightly, and then has the neck belt on, and then the head just flies <laughs> off through, through the windshield. windshield. Well, to leave you guys with something, I have a nice uh, heartfelt story about an Alberta couple who sells off a very impressive collection of John Deere memorabilia. And the caption is, I'm interested. I, I wonder whose idea that was. Oh, no. Damn. You pull it up. Look at the guy. She's Look at the so chick happy. smiling. Oh, and the dear. guy being sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's every grandpa ever. Like, that would be my grandpa, too. Like, he auctioned off all of his John Deere, real John Deere tractors and that set. And then he just wasn't the same since. Oh, man. Poor guy. <laughs> I guess uh, if we can give you anything to lead your week with, a parting note. If your girl comes to you and says, sell your collection of useless things, don't do it. And I guess vice versa, uh, don't ask her to do it either then. Exactly. And we love you and we thank you for tuning in on every episode. We'll catch you guys next week on the Life Wide Open podcast. See ya.